Are you getting on the plane to Naples? I am, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> first, first weekend in the books, can you guys just talk about what expectations you might have had and what it was actually like going through this now? Yeah, it was fantastic. Um, you know, I knew going in we had a pretty amazing team and for us Aussies it's fantastic to be a part of it. So we were super excited to get here this weekend and race and um, I think the meet itself delivered up, delivered to all expectation and hype and I think the Cali Condors performed out of their skin and obviously in Naples we've got a few additions with um, you know, Kayla Dressel coming to the team which certainly helps in some of the skins events and, and some of the relays and um, you know, the energy standard team pulled away sort of with their skins tonight. But uh, you know, I think we can stick it to them in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it uh, honestly exceeded expectations with not only the energy but the hype and the amount of, um, you could just feel the energy that was put into this meet with all of the decorations and lights and atmosphere. I mean, people showed up and they were cheering really hard. They were cheering the hardest for the Cali Condors, as you all could see. Um, but it was great. Our team is so close, and um, it's just going to get stronger and stronger as the meets uh, continue. Can you talk a little about um, what it's like now having past rivals on your team now? I mean, whether it be a friendly or not friendly rivals, uh, you know, that's happening for everybody now. And like you and Kylie in the in the backstroke, you've had some pretty great races internationally, and now. You're still side by side, but wearing the same cap this time. What is that dynamic like um, with with people like that? Yeah, you know, it's um, it's you don't even feel the rivalry because you're on a team together, and all you want to do is score points. And kind of what we get the chance to experience again, being in university, which some of the Aussies maybe don't um, get the chance to experience. It's like you're at NCAA's, regardless of if you, your teammate is swimming the same event, you want to just score the most points together. Um, I had the same experience with Kasia mm -hmm. in the 50 free. Uh, she got second, I got third, but we got points together. Mm -hmm. So, you know what, that's great, but of course, you know, we want to win. Olivia, how, how helpful is this for you once you get out of college? It can be hard. It, people talk about sometimes feeling lonely or isolated because you don't have that camaraderie. You're more of a lone wolf as a pro. How has this is this a big help in that respect? Or? Um, I've actually gotten pretty lucky because with my postgraduate team in Georgia, mm -hmm. uh, there are like 10, 12 of us. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe my first year out of college, it was like, wow, I'm just doing for myself. I'm a professional athlete. It's like a weird transition. Um, but I still felt like I always had the team aspect. But now, oh my god, I literally feel like I'm at NC's, like the final of NC's. It was so much fun uh, tonight, uh, last night. It's great. I feel like this is uh, you know, sort of a continuation of almost like a worldwide uh, plea for, for for athletes' rights. I mean, even FINA, the Atlanta is allowing this, but you know, we're still not counting records. I mean, Katie, you know, that almost said world record today, but FINA said it doesn't count. Do you, you feel like this is, you feel like that's petty or do you have different than something like that? Um, <laughs> I think it's interesting. Um, you know, when we first heard about Pixel coming into fruition, a lot of the athletes were really excited. Um, you know, every time you get to do our craft in front of the world, you know, swim in front of the world stage is a fantastic opportunity. And for me, it was a bit of a shame to hear that thing was not approving it to start with. Um, you know, we think it's it's great for the sport. Um, you know, any time swimming can, can be on TV, shown to the world is, is what I believe is a fantastic opportunity. And I think um, you know, Fina should have supported it a little bit. Um, and I hope to think in the next in the next 12 months, Fina might come on board and say, you know what, we will um, improve records and, and that because I think as the teams get stronger and stronger and the competition heats up, you're only going to see you know the swimming lift. And for me, it's a it'll be a big disappointment to see you know fantastic swim uh, world record not be recognised. That'd be a real shame. But uh, yeah, it's exciting. Like I said, it's it's great for the sport, and um, you know I think it is a chance for swimmers to have a voice. Um, you know, the first team meeting we had have here the first night, they ran through a couple of the rules and they opened up to questions and um, we sort of said, oh, look, let's, what about this idea, you know, in terms of point systems and things like that, and it was really flexible and I guess that's the first time the athletes have sort of had a voice and actually had a say in what they want from the swimming sort of meet. Um, I think it's really exciting, it's a fantastic opportunity. 
Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, I feel like we're being listened to. I mean, this is so much fun. And you saw it. The crowd was so excited. Um, it was streamed on ESPN3. That's a very big network in the States. Like, I don't know. I, I think it's so incredible, but it is definitely. I, I completely agree with everything Mitch said. It's a shame that Fina wouldn't recognize our times. I mean, we, with this, are growing the sport, which would in turn grow Fina's needs as well. So, I mean, they should just go hand in hand. That, to me, makes sense. And so the fact that they wouldn't recognize it, hopefully, like Mitch said, they will um, as the needs go on. Hopefully this grows year after year after year. Um, we can only time it out. Thanks, guys. Do you feel like the timing is perfect, that you're kind of carrying the baton from the U.S. women's soccer team and, like, demanding, you know? Like, we need to be yeah. seen and heard and, and yeah compensated fairly. Yeah, definitely. I think there's a good correlation. Um, being compensated fairly, having this being the first equal pay for men and women's league is so cool. I mean, we're literally making history. Sitting here with you guys, we're making history. Swimming tonight, this first meet, making history. Um, so I think it's so incredible for the sport. As much as we can grow swimming and make it look cool <laughs> to people is um, what's important for us, I think. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.